We are now ready to begin Part C. In Coulomb's Law Part C, you will first find the torsion ratio between the force and the angle of the torsion knob. To do this, we are going to turn the Coulomb's balance back over on its side as Albert showed us earlier. We will begin by supporting the charge sphere and placing the 20 milligram masses that are located in the accessory parts of the Coulomb's balance. I'm going to place one 20 milligram weight along the center line of the charge sphere. I'm going to slowly remove the support, supporting the sphere with my hand, and begin adjusting my knob to lift the sphere off of my hand. Once I have adjusted the torsion knob to supply enough force, you will see that the, knob, the sphere is allowed to float freely. I'm going to finally do some precision adjusting to get my notches to realign. and record my mass and my torsion angle into mass versus twist angle in Coulomb's Law Part C. This will allow me to find the ratio between my force on the sphere and the angle in the knob. To finish Part C, I will complete this procedure with my 20 milligram mass, my 220 milligram masses, which will be 40 milligrams, a 50 milligram mass, and also a 70 milligram total masses.